What's up Chiefs Kingdom, Noah Gray here, tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Joss's channel and check out showmefootball.com for more. What is up Chiefs Kingdom, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com and we got to talk about this beef between Juju Smith-Schuster of the Kansas City Chiefs and really the Philadelphia Eagles, but more specifically, A.J. Brown and Chauncey Gardner-Johnson of the Philadelphia Eagles. So if you guys watched Super Bowl 57 at all or followed the game, you know that the game essentially ended on a holding call on Eagles cornerback James Bradbury, and he held Juju Smith-Schuster on the final offensive drive for the Chiefs in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 57 and that gave the Chiefs a first down and allowed them to run out the clock and eventually kick the game-winning field goal with Harrison Butker. After the game we got a lot of respect between both sides you know a lot of the Eagles players including Jason Kelsey, James Bradbury, guys like that were saying yeah it was a hold we're not going to complain about it we think the refs did their job we trust the refs to do their job and Juju Smith-Schuster said he thought it was a hold after the game you know Everyone just kind of mutually agreed uh, to handle this with respect. And then, of course, here we are a couple days after the game, and Juju Smith-Schuster on Valentine's Day decides to tweet out a Valentine's Day meme that says, I'll hold you when it matters most with a picture of James Bradbury of the Philadelphia Eagles. And it was a little unprovoked, but I thought it was pretty funny. And then, as anyone could expect, the Eagles players didn't take too kindly to Juju Smith-Schuster poking fun at them just a couple days after their Super Bowl loss. A.J. Brown, the Eagles wide receiver, responded to Juju, saying, First off, congratulations. Y'all deserve it. This is lame. You was on the way out the league before Mahomes resurrected your career on a one-year deal, TikTok boy. He admitted that he grabbed you, but don't act like you're like that or ever was. But congratulations again. Smith Schuster then replied to AJ Brown saying, glad you were finally able to get all of that off your chest after all these years. Good game, bro, with a thumbs up emoji and then an emoji of a ring. AJ Brown wasn't the only Eagles player to respond to Juju, however. Eagle safety Chauncey Gardner Johnson also quoted Juju Smith Schuster's Valentine's Day meme, poking at James Bradbury and said, schoolboys acting gangsta, dot, dot, dot. Gardner Johnson also added, Juju ran for me when I check him in game. Then 10 got his smoke, referring to his hit on Isaiah Pacheco in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. Chauncey Gardner Johnson also said, I got more interceptions than bro had TDs. Maybe I need to change to wide receiver. Juju Smith Schuster quoted Chauncey Gardner Johnson back, saying, Yeah, I went to the sideline to call him, and then posted the video of Chauncey Gardner Johnson getting fought by Javon Wims of the Chicago Bears when Chauncey Gardner-Johnson was on the Saints. Then he followed up by saying, Big Cap, also I told you in the game to stop all that talking because we were going to come back and win that game. Now help me decide which finger I need to get size for this ring. Oddly enough, James Bradbury himself didn't really get in on the Twitter scuffle, but he did have a deleted tweet that read, At Eli Apple, I now understand why you do it, with an emoji of shaking hands. And this is in reference to, of course, Eli Apple, the cornerback for the Cincinnati Bengals, who is notorious for trash talking. And he's also got into it with several Chiefs players over the past couple of years. And apparently Bradbury now agrees with Eli Apple on why he does all the talking he does, because people just don't like the Kansas City Chiefs. Former Chiefs wide receiver Tyreek Hill even chimed in, supporting A.J. Brown on his response and then quoted Juju Smith-Schuster saying, man played victim, lol, I'm logging off here today. You know, my honest thoughts on this whole situation, do I think Juju Smith-Schuster's original tweet making fun of James Bradbury was a little out of pocket and unprovoked? Yeah, probably, but guess what? I thought it was funny. Additionally, Juju Smith-Schuster was a huge contributor for the Chiefs this season, and he was key in the second half of the Super Bowl, led the team in catches, and they did not win the game without him. He had some big plays in that game and some huge catches. And after he left Pittsburgh, a lot of people said that he fell off, 
and kind of counted him out as one of the better receivers in the league. And he had a good year with the Kansas City Chiefs, and now he's a Super Bowl champion. So guess what? Talk your shit, Juju. And based on Juju's reply to Chauncey Gardner-Johnson about Chauncey Gardner-Johnson talking trash during the game, we don't know. The Eagles defenders and Juju Smith-Schuster could have been getting into it all game long, which is the reason why he tweeted some of these things. Maybe it's not so much unprovoked as fans think. We don't know what was said during the game. There's a lot that these players say to each other during the games that we never hear about, so that's something to consider for sure. I know A.J. Brown's response to Juju Smith-Schuster got a lot of attention. He called him TikTok boy, which, you know, I, I can find some humor in that. But he also said that, you know, Juju Smith-Schuster was on his way out of the league before Patrick Mahomes, which is just ridiculous. And the crazy thing is Juju Smith-Schuster actually had the best season between both him and A.J. Brown until this year when A.J. Brown teamed up with Jalen Hurts on the Philadelphia Eagles if you guys remember Juju Smith-Schuster, he had a 1,400-yard, seven-touchdown season in Pittsburgh with Ben Roethlisberger, and he stuck around Pittsburgh long after Ben Roethlisberger was washed up and still had a season where he nearly recorded 100 catches. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson also felt like talking a lot of trash. For somebody who didn't make too much of an impact in Super Bowl 57, he claimed Juju ran from him, yet Juju Smith-Schuster was big in the second half and no one could really stop him. And then... Chauncey Gardner-Johnson claimed that, you know, 10 didn't want the smoke talking about Isaiah Pacheco. Isaiah Pacheco ran all over the Eagles in Super Bowl 57. He was averaging like seven yards per carry. One big hit on Isaiah Pacheco does not mean you played a good game, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. Juju Smith-Schuster was an Andre Sisco induced concussion away from being a 1,000-yard receiver this year. The guy is still one of the better receivers in this league. And I bet you he comes back to the Chiefs next year in free agency and has an even better year in his second year in the Chiefs offense playing with Patrick Mahomes. Juju Smith-Schuster deciding that going to play with Patrick Mahomes being his best career decision does not mean Mahomes resurrected his career. Juju had already put up numbers before Mahomes was in the picture. In the end, Juju Smith-Schuster probably should have just responded by posting a picture of him with the Lombardi Trophy. That would have been the ultimate response. And ultimately, Juju Smith-Schuster is a Super Bowl champion, and he's going to have a Super Bowl ring on his finger. So who is really the winner in the end? But that's all I got for this video, guys. I really just wanted to talk about this little beef going on between Juju Smith-Schuster and the Philadelphia Eagles. It'll be fun since the Chiefs are going to play the Eagles in the regular season next year. We don't know what week of the season that would be. It would be pretty nice if we could get a Super Bowl rematch on opening night, though, during the Chiefs banner ceremony against the Philadelphia Eagles with all this drama now surrounding both teams but I would definitely like to hear from you guys uh whose side are you taking in this one are you going with Juju Smith-Schuster or the Philadelphia Eagles let me know what were your thoughts on this beef between the two teams do you think Juju Smith-Schuster was wrong for doing what he did and posting that meme of James Bradbury let me know in the comments but all that being said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com. And I will see you all in the next one. Go Chiefs!